I'm back again. I'm back again. This time in another wig, just because I felt like it. A little bit more fat, though, if you will. Uh, what the hell is this bitch doing? Okay. So, I'm going to give y'all top 10 most random facts about me. Hold on. Pass. That's deadly. I love him. Anyway. Okay. So, number 10. I hate odd numbers. I hate odd numbers, triple numbers, and numbers, and double numbers that are the same. I hate it. But I love numbers that end in 5, and I love the number 5. I don't understand why, but I just do. Like, if I have, like, if I've uploaded seven songs, I got to upload an eighth just to be happy. I promise you. Um, <laughs> I love, number nine, I love to sleep in complete darkness, in complete darkness, like, utterly cold, complete silence, and I lock my door when I sleep. I never, I've always been this way, I don't understand why. Um, my mother says I'm a demon. Um, she may or may not be right, I don't know. Ha <laughs> ha! Number eight, I'm obsessed. Number eight, I'm obsessed with sweets. And I don't mean candy. I I, I can eat candy, but I, I don't really like it. I love cakes, pies. Um, I have an obsession with um, key lime pie as well as red velvet. My aunt currently used to make the best fucking red velvet. I promise you, every birthday she'd make me one because she knew I loved it. Number seven. When I get mad, I become another person. Like, I don't mean, you know, everyone, when they get mad, they become someone else. But with me, I used to, when I get mad, I used to get really feminine. I used to, like, you know, my mother or my sister, because I grew up in wild women. So I would get really feminized when I became mad. But now when I get mad... Because now I'm more feminine than I used to be. I tend to become this New Yorker. Mind you, I'm born and raised in Atlanta. But for some reason, when I get angry, I become a straight New York dude. Or masculine, whatever you want to call it. It scares me sometimes. It scares a lot of people. When I get mad, I can do some pretty reckless shit. Like, when I'm mad, I tend to do some reckless shit. Say some reckless shit. Don't mean it. Well, at the time I do, but in hindsight, I just don't mean to be that cruel. Um, number six, I'm a very, very, very affectionate person. Like all my friends know, I can like sometimes I can just get really affectionate and want to be upon somebody, want to hold somebody, want to just touch somebody. I don't care. I, I I've always been that way ever since I was a child. I just Love to be upon somebody. Um, I don't know. I just do. Very affectionate. I guess because I didn't get a lot of it as a child, so I just forced it on people. <laughs> like, bitch, you don't love me. Um, number six. No, I'm sorry. That was number six about the very affectionate. Number five. I love drag queens. I fucking love, 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 love drag queens. I... Because drag queens are just amazing to me. Like, Danny Noriega, who um, is uh, a door on his channel. Um, he's Danny Noriega from American Idol. Now he's doing his own damn thing, and I love him to death. Um, hold on. Text. Oh, shit. Um, and you know, he, he is just amazing as a, um, male singer and as a door, he just brings this whole nother thing and I love it. I love it. Number four, I love attention. Um, I, I, I just love attention. Um, I cannot multitask. Ugh. That's a bonus. Um, attention, like. 
I just love people to, I guess you call it narcissistic. I love to be praised. I love to be, uh, I love good vibes. I love good compliments. I love it. I just love to be, I love to be in the center of attention. Um, and number three, which counteracts number four, I'm a very shy person. I'm very shy. Like you would think I'm not, but getting to meet someone for the first time, like I could talk shit all day over the text message or, um, on a computer, but in person, I, I'm very shy. I don't understand why, but I am. That just happened to Ryan. But eventually, once I get the vibe, once I get your vibe, you know, when I'm with you to begin with, when I first meet you, if your vibe is good, then my shyness goes away. But if, you, but if I'm not really getting getting a vibe from you, then I will fill you out. And, and then I will eventually open up. Number two. I used to couldn't sing. No. I used to could not. I don't know what the fuck happened, but I used to could not sing. Um, And then when I got older, so around like... 11, 12, my voice, no. Before I hit puberty, my voice sounded like Michael Jackson. I was really high-pitched, and it was just a mess. And now I can actually sing. Whoa, there's so much I can do, but I, I don't want to do it with you, baby. Anyway, last but not least, I lock myself out of the world. Nine times out of ten, I do. Um, I don't know why, I, like, I lock myself in my room all the time. It's like my room is my comfort zone. If I'm in my room, I'm comfortable. I don't, I don't have to pretend anything. I could just be me, all of me, and it's just, um, it's crazy. Sometimes I wish I wasn't like this. But that's just how I am. I'm trying to break out of it. So that's my top 10 things. Uh, rate, subscribe, comment, tell your mama, your daddy, all your family. Tell them about me. Um, I guess I give a shout out to Peace. I give a shout out to King, 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 Bling, Bling. I, think this um, I give a shout out to Achilles. I give a shout out to Danny Noriega slash Adore. Brian, Brandon, Playboy, that is, Joanne Prada, and if I forgot anyone, you know I still love you nonetheless. So that's all. Peace.